Hello, my name is Wackers and I'm a lecturer here at Worcester College of Technology. Today on this model, what we're going to do is a short graduation. And what I've done is taken a horseshoe section just from where her hair resides from on the left hand side all the way to the right and just going below the crown, just there. Okay, so at first what we're going to do is just work on the bottom first. Once we've done that, and then we'll work on to the top. Today I'm going to use is a razor. And what the razor does itself, it just gives you a little bit more texture into the hair and a bit more of a shattered effect. So all we're going to do, just to start off with, is start right at the back, at the middle. And taking the section roughly as wide as you can. Okay, the angle that we're using today is going to be 90 degrees from the head. I'm actually cutting from longer, which is going to be at the top, to shorter at the bottom. So if you just bring your hair right to 90 degrees, I would just use a razor and then just cut in front of your fingers. So what I'm doing is roughly trying to keep in a little bit of length, but just putting texture into the hair as it's wet. So once you've done that, so all we're going to do is just work towards our right hand side. So subdivide the section that you've just cut and keep taking sections as big as you can. Hold it out and look for your guide that you've just previously cut. So if you can see your guide, bring your fingers forward. And just go through with your razor. And just take that little bit of length off. So again, to keep your sections nice and clean. So you can see your guide of what you've just cut before. So the effect that you should get with a razor is probably a little bit more shattered, a little bit more spiky, rather than just cutting it with your scissors and having it cut blunt. So again, look for your guide, bring your hair out, and you're gonna cut in front of your eyes, of your fingers there. Subdivide your section, comb that out of the way. And again, work towards your front of your hair. Subdivide again. We're going to just keep a little bit, maintain the length at the front. Just bring it back to your previous section. Bring it out, see if you can see your guide, go through and just cut that excess off. So as you can see, the hair is wet itself. Try not to do it on dry hair, because it'll sound like as if you're ripping the hair. So just keep it wet as you're going all the way through. So as you can see, it's a bit more shattered and a bit more textured there. So all we're going to do is just move on to the left-hand side and just repeat that process all over again. Just visually check it to see how it looks and how the texture's looking. So if you can see it's a little bit longer there, but still shorter on that side. And you've got a little bit more texture in there. Okay, so now what we're going to do is just work towards the top. 
we're going to just comb it all forward and join it in to the side. So what we're going to do is try and maintain as much length as we can on top, but mainly take the weight out. So what we're going to do is just go in through with our thinning scissors. And we're going to start at the front and work our way back. And what we're going to do is just take that weight out on top there. So again, with this, it's 90 degrees from the head. Bring it out. And all we're going to do is just go in and slice. So what we're doing is maintaining the length at the same time, but taking the weight out and just putting a bit more texture into it. So go through, close your scissors and pull out. So take your next section again and just work your way back. too close with the root because if you close close with your root with your scissors you're gonna get little bits of hair sticking up so you still want to keep that length there. And slice out there. Let's do the same with the sides. On the top, all we're doing is maintaining the length, but just taking the weight out. It's blending the sides through, so where we've razored, and just using the thin scissors just to get a bit more texture into the hair. So now that the main cut's done, what we're going to do is dry using a small round brush, blow drying it all forward, and not all the other months it's dry, we'll have a look and to see if we need to take any more weight out and just to see how it looks. So all I'm going to do is use a little bit of mousse. And that'll just give us a little bit of hold for when we're drying it. And then we want to dress it out. So all we're doing now is literally Blow drying the hair all the way forward to where it naturally sits and that's from the crown. We'll start from the top and just push your way forward there. And what you can do is use your fingers just to manipulate the hair into a little bit of the soil. So all we're going to do now is to have a look at it, tidy up the perimeter and probably just take a little bit more weight out just there. So all you want to do is just go through and just slice. And just carry on working towards your side. And all you want to do is have a look and see if it's a little bit more heavy. Just go through and again, take some of that weight out there. So again, all we're going to do is just exactly the same what we did on the other side. It's a little bit shorter that side, longer this side, and that's how we're keeping it. Just go through. Just take a little bit more weight out there. <clears throat> so the razor's done most of the work, and all you're doing is just finishing it off with your scissors. Just to personalise it and bring it all the way through. Okay, once you're happy with the sides, all we're going to do is just work on the top there. 
So I want to get a little bit more volume on top, so I'm going to take a little bit more weight out. And all we're actually doing is just point cutting into the hair, going in the same length, well, the same direction as the hair's line. So we're still keeping that length, but we're just taking that weight out. If you cut across, you'll end up taking too much length off and it'll be quite short. So what we want to do, just put a little bit more texture into the hair itself. So when that top's done, all we want to do is just work on the fringe. You can see it's a little bit more heavier there. Still want to keep some of that length. So again, all we're going to do, pick it up into your comb and just point cut into it. Okay, once you're happy with your final result, let's give it a quick blast with the hairdryer just to get any blow our hair away. Okay, just to finish it off, what I'm going to use is a little bit of Joyco moulding clay. And that'll just enhance the texture that I've just put in. Okay, just to recap, what we did was the horseshoe section, and in the bottom, all we did was razor it, just to put a bit more texture at the bottom there and make it a little bit shorter. We've got a little bit longer this side, a bit shorter there. Now as we come to this side there, again, gets a little bit short and a bit longer at the front there. Shorter at the front there. And then with the top, all we did was go through with the thinning scissors once it was wet, just to maintain the length, but keeping, taking the weight out at the same time. And I just finished it off by literally point cutting all the way around with the scissors to put some more texture in and finished off with some uh, MAC clay. <laughs>